I'm John Astroth, President of Heartland Community College. When I was approached to introduce this video, Introduction to the Six Sigma Process Improvement Strategy, DMAIC, I was pleased to be provided with this opportunity. Through time, I've learned more and more about the value of using effective processes and improving them. I draw largely from my own experience. In too many colleges, admissions and registration is an endeavor daunting enough to test even determined students. As HCC conceptualized and designed its new campus, one overriding concern became clear. How could the campus reflect the institutional goal of being as student-friendly as possible? Senior Heartland administrators pooled their experiences and discussed the issue with students. The outcome of those deliberations was HCC's One Stop Student Services Center. The One Stop Service Center vastly improves the all-too-frequent college admissions process of shuttling students from office to office and often from building to building depending upon the services a student needs. Keys to success of the One Stop Student Services Center in improving the college admissions process are one, physically locating all critical student services and offices in the same area. Two, cross-training of staff so that they can respond to a range of student needs and make accurate referrals when necessary. And three, ready access to information required to assist students. Each of these steps helps eliminate the information and service silos that often develop within complex organizations. Finally, the One Stop Student Center is an open welcoming space, reinforcing the institutional philosophy and attitude that led to its development. Comments from users of the center support the fact that HCC is achieving its goal. Through this experience, I learned some of the values of Six Sigma, and I wanted to learn more. I wanted to know how Six Sigma worked. I wanted to better understand how and when it is used. Was it too theoretical or overly statistical? Like many of you, I wondered if Six Sigma was only for manufacturing or for overly complex organizations. All I really knew was that I wanted to know more which I was able to do by talking to some local business representatives. Through this experience, I learned the value of an effective improvement strategy, not only for the academic community, but for all types of industry. The video that follows is an excellent introduction to this type of strategy. It provides an insightful, easy to understand view of Six Sigma's process improvement strategy, DMAIC. Here now is Bruce Leininger, moderator of this video. Bruce? Thanks, John, you're right. Six Sigma has become arguably the most popular process improvement methodology used across industries. Why? What has brought so much attention to Six Sigma? The purpose of this video is to introduce viewers to Six Sigma's renowned process improvement strategy, DMAIC, or DMAIC. We created this story as a way to explain, essentially, how DMAIC works. Our story walks through a DMAIC project at a high level from start to finish. In it, we take a look at some tools and techniques process analysts use to strengthen business performance. The video shows how a project sponsor needs to be involved throughout an improvement project. It also shows what a key role leadership and teamwork play in such a project's success. It also identifies the importance of linking a process to ever-changing customer needs. Finally, this video reveals the reward gained from striving to reduce variation in a process's output. Customers expect consistency in the products and services they receive. Companies that directly tie improvements to customer needs using industry-proven tools and techniques stand to consistently meet those ever-changing customer needs, wherever they may lead. Six Sigma embraces tried and true quality principles that have been successful for years. These principles include focusing on customer needs, utilizing data-driven decision-making, employing effective teamwork, and establishing a process focus. Other methodologies can make this claim as well, but Six Sigma brings together both established and new tools, techniques, and practices in a coherent, 
and complete quality methodology. One major difference from other process improvement methodologies is that rather than guessing solutions or jumping to conclusions, the problem is first defined and analyzed. Is the real problem being addressed? Using Six Sigma fortifies your understanding of the problem to be solved. From manufacturing to distribution to IT to healthcare, Six Sigma has helped a wide variety of businesses achieve amazing results. Through our work, we have found Six Sigma strategies to be as sensible as they have been effective. Let's take a look at a story where Six Sigma helps a business, one most of us are familiar with and may even enjoy, the pizza business. We will follow the story of a pizzeria we'll call Johnny's Pizza. We'll watch as Johnny struggles to reverse a disturbing trend that has seen pizza sales decline in a matter of months. Let's go inside Johnny's Pizza. I don't understand it. Three months ago, we served an average of 32 pizzas a night. Then we closed for a couple weeks, and now we serve fewer tables than we did before. Maybe closing for that long hurt us worse than we thought. Yeah, but remember the grand reopening? This place was packed. We thought we were on our way. It has been a gradual decline. We're down to about a dozen pizzas a night. We have a bigger restaurant. We have the same cook, the same decor, the same pizzas. What happened? I don't know, but I think I know someone who can help. Does that sound like something you'd be able to help us with? Good. Johnny wanted to know if you'd be able to come by tomorrow afternoon. Thanks again for your time, and thank Johnny. We'll see you tomorrow. Six Sigma is a tool for managing a business. It is all about process. Processes deliver products and services for customers. Six Sigma defines how you design those processes, manage those processes, and improve those processes. Six Sigma employs a strategy called DMAIC, D-M-A-I-C, which was developed at Motorola in the early 1980s. Johnny has seen his long-standing customer base dwindle after decades of consistent sales. Johnny's Pizza has a problem, a decline in pizza sales, and they don't know how to fix it. More disturbingly, they aren't sure what the true problem is. They just see a symptom, fewer pizzas sold. Let's take a closer look at what Six Sigma and its Demaic strategy can do for Johnny's. To help me, let me introduce my assistant, Tracy Hedden. Thanks, Bruce. Hi, everyone. DMAIC is a Six Sigma strategy for process improvement that focuses primarily on customer requirements and consistency in product or service outcomes. Six Sigma methodology aims to improve processes to yield consistent and predictable results. Johnny is worried about a decline in customers selling fewer pizzas. Let's take a closer look at how the phases of DMAIC can address Johnny's decline in pizza sales. D stands for define. Here you define your improvement project, even when you don't know the cause of the problem. How can Johnny's return to their previous sales level? Ultimately, customer needs determine sales. M stands for measure. In this phase, you determine current performance levels of your processes, called baselines. The process is making pizzas to sell. A stands for analyze. After baselining a process's current performance, you use process tools to tie performance to data. In this phase, you sort through this data to help guide you in identifying potential opportunities for improvement of the process. How can Johnny's increase sales? You tie potential solutions to customer needs or expectations to optimize sales. I stands for improvement. You identify the most effective way to improve your process's performance based on the analysis of the data in the previous phase. Which specific steps should Johnny's take to increase pizza sales? C stands for control. To ensure an improvement to your process sticks, you determine activities to control your process. These activities are tied to customer requirements. How can Johnny's maintain this increase in sales? Tracy, how do we figure out what's going wrong here at Johnny's? Bruce, John's family has been in this small, thin building for over 60 years. The recipe of John's great-grandfather has been handed down through the generations, guarding the recipe like a bucket of gold. For years, Johnny's did a steady business. In the 80s, when his dad ran the place, they experienced a long downturn in business, like many had, but they got through it. By the mid-90s, business had recovered and even grew as they focused on increasing deliveries and carryouts to ease their space constraint. 